Well, coming up, some simple things you can do to shed those winter pounds and get ready for spring. It has to do with food. Well, now that spring is right around the corner, it is time to start shedding that winter weary feeling. And one way to tackle that is by eating the right foods. Kowalski Markets Nutritionist Susan Moore is here to serve up some advice for getting going. And you are calling. Good to see you, by the Thank way. Thank you. What are you calling this? Waste whittlers. Waste whittlers. Say that three times. <laughs> and you have brought in examples of what we should be doing right now and it's a gradual thing. It is. March is the number one month for dieting for people because you start taking off the coats and go, oh, maybe I need to yeah. get myself ready before I jump into the swimsuit. I so, always hate that because I look forward I to sweater too. season. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bring on the parkas. Let's begin over here. Uh, Tip number one is to eat heavier foods, and heavier foods tend to be the foods that have more water in them. So, so you mean weight heavy? Weight heavy. Not fat heavy. Thank you. Good uh -huh. clarification. Yes. So you want to weigh, eat foods that weigh them because there's some research that suggests that we eat the same weight of food every day. Mm -hmm. And if the food you're putting in is pretty water-based, then it's heavy, but not a lot of calories. So that's fruits and vegetables. Uh, cooked grains, cooked pasta, things that absorb water are those heavy foods. And our stomach on average holds about four cups of food at a time. It can stretch to three times that, but good so amount, four choose cups. choose like for your fist and, and you can yep, mix them up. Yep, this is here. about four cups. If you just get an eyeball on that, that's about how much weight uh, mm -hmm. or how much food your stomach will hold, but know that it can expand. And once you start to expand it, it gets used to being expanded, then it won't be quite as tight and concise. What's next? To front end your lunch or your dinner with soup if you can because it takes a fair amount of time to eat soup and it takes about 15 minutes for our stomach to register up to our brain that it's full. So that helps and then it just kicks off that sense of satisfaction. So a broth based soup is a great way to cut about 30% 30 30 of your calories at a meal. And I know Kowalski's has some nice choices there. Yeah, that are some great too. options. Mm -hmm. Okay. My favorite um, tip is to engage your senses. So we eat with our eyes. The smell of food makes things tantalizing mm. to us. Texture is important. So it's a quality over quantity concept in that if you use a really good Parmesan cheese, you're probably going to need less of it because you get this great flavor punch. Mm. And it just engages your senses, gives you a sense of satiety. You're satisfied more quickly, so you eat less. So pick foods that really engage your senses, chew food, eat food, enjoy your food, and you probably will eat less of I like it. that you've said chew food because I think most of us just inhale, we're in a hurry, but if you chew, you tend to be putting less in your mouth, right? Correct. All right, round the bend, if you would, please. Uh, plate size. So mm -hmm. it's a very small distinction here, but if you go from a large plate to a smaller plate, less food is going to be on it, and back to eating with your eyes. If they're full, you can cut 10 to 30% uh, of your calories, 10 to 30% of your calories, by just downsizing to a nine inch plate. That's a lot, and last but not least? Is drinks, about 20%, a lot of percents here, but about 20% of your calories come from drinks, and it's not something, we talked about chewing food, it's not something that fills you up. You don't register that sense of satisfaction. So watch your drinks, watch what's in your drinks. Thank you, you make mm -hmm. me wanna go home and <laughs> start it right this moment. Yay. Thank you, Susan. Uh, for more information on this topic, head to carol11.com, look into the local section and the news at four. We will be right back.